Okay, um, if the mass of chlorine 35 nucleus is 34.97 atomic mass unit, calculate its binding energy in joule. Okay, given the mass of neutron and mass of proton. As I said, this mass of neutron and mass of proton, uh, if the question doesn't provide, you also can find from the list of constant. Yeah, can find from the list of constant. There you have electron mass, neutron mass, proton mass. Okay, neutron mass, proton mass, deuteron mass. Okay, you have all this value. Uh, you can find the neutron mass and proton mass from here. Uh, you also have the atomic mass unit. See, U. Uh, atomic mass unit U. Okay. Uh, so, well, uh, okay. So, we want to find binding energy uh, for these questions. So, we need to find binding energy. Uh, binding energy. So, um, okay. Okay. We want to find binding energy by the unit in Joule. Uh, you want the unit in Joule. Uh, be careful. So, this is a. Uh, Consider SI unit lah. You want the unit in SI. Yeah, SI unit. So it gives you the mass of nucleus. Uh, see that? This is the mass of nucleus. Uh, chlorine nucleus. Yeah? Uh, 34.97 U. Okay. So now uh, to, to get the binding energy, first we need to find the mass defect. Okay, mass defect. So mass defect, uh, look at this chlorine, identify how many proton and how many neutron. Okay, so um, okay, so how many proton and how many neutron are there? Yeah, so from here the atomic number, atomic number is the proton number. Proton number it shows that it has 17 proton. 17 proton. And then how many neutron are there? Neutron, you just take the mass number, 35, minus the proton number. So, after minus the proton number, it left with neutron number. Okay? So, 35 minus 17 is, I think, 18. Yeah? 35 minus 17 is 18. Yeah, so it has 18 neutron. Okay? This 18 neutron, you get from 35 minus 17. Understand? Just take the mass number minus the atomic number or we call the proton number yeah 35 minus 17 i get 18 neutron uh, so this nucleus is this nucleus this nucleus uh, is okay uh, this one lah, okay so this nucleus is made out of 17 proton and uh, with a combined yeah, 17 proton combined with 18 neutron okay get this nucleus Okay, so let's write down the equations. Okay, equations. So the equations, we can say it is uh, 17 proton uh, plus uh, 18 neutron getting a nucleus chlorine. Uh, getting a nucleus chlorine, 35, 17. Or you also can write the other way. You can write 17 Proton is hydrogen 1, 1. Uh, hydrogen 1, 1 plus 18. Neutron, neutron is uh, 1, 0. Ah, yeah. Get chlorine. Uh, like this. Yeah. Uh, proton, you can write as hydrogen 1, 1. Yeah. So you see that. Uh, 17. 17 proton. Yeah. And then mass number here 17 plus 18. Plus 18. So you get 35. Uh, so you want to write this way or uh, that way lah. Uh, you want to write this way just a proton and neutron or proton is actually the hydrogen one atom yeah hydrogen prontium yeah? Uh, proton actually is a prontium uh, hydrogen one one okay neutron is nitrogen neutron neutron zero one okay all these are new nucleons yeah all these are nucleons uh get uh, after nucleons combine we get a nucleus over here right nucleons getting nucleus yeah? all these are nucleons nucleons particles in the nucleus and this is the nucleus after combining all the nucleons okay so uh get the mass defect now yeah let's get the mass defect so delta m mass defect is actually we take all the, 
the total all the nucleons uh, take total nucleons masses yeah to uh, total nucleons mass uh, mass total nucleons masses minus the mass of nucleus uh, understand uh, mass defect is total nucleons masses minus the mass of nucleus after before combine before combine minus after combine understand okay so let's move on so uh, we need to total up all the masses of nucleons uh, which is uh, 17 mass of proton plus uh, 18 mass of neutron okay total up minus the mass of chlorine nucleus okay so uh, 17 mass of proton mass of proton given uh, 1.00 1.00 uh, 7.825 7.825 U okay, and then plus 18 mass of neutron mass of neutron is 1.00 1.00 8.66 5 atomic mass unit okay ah all right and then minus the chlorine mass of nucleus chlorine mass of chlor nucleus chlorine is 34.97 atomic mass unit uh, 34.97 atomic mass unit okay let's calculate uh, 17 times 1.007825 and then plus the 18 multiply 1.00 Eight six six five, then minus the thirty, uh, minus the thirty four point nine seven, thirty four point nine seven. Okay, so the mass defect is um zero point three one eight three one eight nine nine five. I uh, maintain as many decimal places as possible. Okay, don't round up the value. Yeah, maintain the decimal value. Yeah, maintain maintain the uh, maintain all to get accurate answer to get accurate answer maintain all decimal places yeah maintain all decimal places okay don't round up this value uh. don't round up to 0 0.3 only yeah or 0 0.32 no yeah don't don't round up the value don't round up the value maintain or maintain all decimal places Okay, to get the most accurate value. Okay, so then uh, we can calculate the binding energy already. So put it on one side. We got the mass defect already. So we got thing that we got the mass defect. So let's calculate. Yeah, now mass defect. So binding energy. To find binding energy, we use the formula delta m c square. Delta m c square. Uh, delta mc square but the thing is this one need to be in uh because your binding energy is in joule uh, si unit si unit so uh but your mass your mass is atomic mass unit u not this is not si unit not si unit so that we need to convert the atomic mass unit to kilogram first uh because delta m delta uh this uh delta m need to be in kilogram si unit you can get binding energy in joule. Understand? The question also one in joule, not the MeV, not MeV for you to directly convert. Yeah, nitrate one point five. Ah, uh, yeah. This one is joule, so you have to do the traditional method. You cannot use the uh, multiply nitrate one point five. That one is for MeV. Okay. This one is in joule. Joule. Yeah. Unlike last time, is you want the uh, the you the energy in energy in MeV. Uh, so this one is just multiply nitrate 1.5 in now. You get straight away get the answer. Energy in MeV. But this one in is in Joule. It's in Joule. It's in Joule. So you need to use the formula delta MC square. Uh, you need to convert the U go to kilogram first. Then only substitute the delta M in kilogram into this formula. Then you get only you get the binding energy in Joule. Understand? So first of all, I need to convert the U to uh, kilogram. So how to convert the U to kilogram? So uh, still remember my uh, what I taught you. Atomic mass unit you want to convert to kilogram. 
you multiply 1.66 ah uh, okay so i just want to put it over here yeah ah uh, so also in my notes i have here you convert to kilogram is multiply ah uh, you convert to kilogram kilogram yeah you convert to kilogram multiply 166 point uh, exponent negative 27 okay uh, if the other way around you divide okay so this one i need to multiply yeah so 0 0.318995 u uh, i need to multiply i need to multiply uh, 1.66 exponent negative 27 uh, after i multiply this then i get the the mass in kilogram i get the delta m mass defect in kilogram uh, okay so multiply 1.66 exponent negative 27 so i got the answer is uh, 5.295317 exponent negative 28 kilogram ah so i got my mass in kilogram uh, maintain all decimal place so, so that more accurate okay now i can substitute my delta m which is in kilogram into this formula delta mc square then i get the binding energy in joule understand I can directly uh, substitute this one i cannot substitute the atomic mass unit uh, into delta m uh, cannot uh. Uh, i must convert to kilogram first so 5.29 uh, 17 uh, exponent negative 28 kilogram understand 5.295317 exponent negative 28 kilogram and then multiply by the speed of light 3 exponent 8 uh, square uh, 3 exponent 8 don't forget the square uh. don't forget this square so important the square uh. make sure you don't make silly mistake yeah uh, forgetting the square okay multiply by uh, 3 exponent 8 square exponent 8 square so the answer binding energy is a uh, 4.766 uh, 4.766 uh, exponent negative 11 negative negative 11 negative 11 negative 11 ah so the answer is in joule the unit in joule okay si unit joule uh, that's the answer so that's the way to do this question okay if you want the unit in joule you need to apply the formula delta mc square so you have the speed of light trick exponent 8 the delta m needs to be in kilogram convert the u to kilogram u convert to kilogram you multiply 1.66 uh, then, then you use this formula you get the energy in joule this is the answer okay uh, if joule you need to use a formula delta mc square uh, convert to kilogram but if uh, the if uh, you want the energy in mev mev uh, the u no need to keep no need to convert to kilogram uh, the u you can just directly multiply 931.5 you straight away get the energy in mev mev okay you you also can do the long method for this one yeah change the kilogram then then delta mc square get joule joule convert to mev you also get back the the, the correct answer okay so okay that's it for this question i hope you understand okay and then now we can move on to the next video bye